Hello, everyone, and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with TechTalkAmerica.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you in this short tutorial video the four different ways to capture your Mac's screen. As a tech person, I can tell you that it is really handy to me when I'm dealing with someone who's trying to describe an issue to me that I'm trying to solve. It's really easy if they just show me the issue rather than try to describe it, whether it's through email or a voicemail. So using a screen capture is a really easy good tool that I think everyone should probably know. So let's go over the four different ways to do it. The first is to just simply capture the entire screen. And it's going to be three keys that you would hit on your keyboard at the same time. Command, Shift, and the number three. And when you do that, it'll take a photo, just as you see I have just done here. It'll put it on your desktop. And there you go. That's the entire screen. Now the second method is very similar. It's Command Shift 4 and you'll see what happens is the cursor, see how it turns into that crosshair? So what I can do now is I can drag with my cursor and tell it to just take a photo of a certain portion of the screen. You can see that's right there what I just captured. The third method is great for when you're trying to capture an application of some sort. So let's say I'm having some sort of a problem with Safari and I need to capture just Safari. It's similar to the other method. It's Command, Shift, and 4. Again, the difference is that you're going to then, after you've hit all three of those, you're going to tap the space bar. And that locks it into a very specific application. So you can see here, if I put my cursor over Safari, Safari is highlighted. If I move it to the uh, desktop background, now that is highlighted. So if I click here, just while it's on the Google screen, you'll see I have a perfectly cropped image of just my web browser. And that works with every application. And then finally, there's the fourth method, which is to capture video of your screensaver, of, sorry, of your desktop. And the way to do this is through the built-in application QuickTime. So you can go here into Launchpad, and most of you will have a setup that looks something similar to this, and you should have this little folder here called Other. Now all of these are actually in your Mac's Applications folder, but right up here at the top left we have QuickTime Player. Click on that. Now, nothing actually opens, but if you look right now at the very top left of the screen, you'll see it does say QuickTime Player. Now, from here, we go to File, and it is the third option down, New Screen Recording. Just simply click on that. It's going to give you this little pop-up here. Hit the little red dot, and then click, and it will record the screen. And when you're done, if you want to stop the recording, if you look up here at my top menu bar over sort of towards the top right, we have this little icon right here. Click on that to stop the recording. So you can see if I hit play right now, it'll play the little video that I just captured. And I have my speakers muted so you can't hear it. So that is how it works. Those are the four different ways to capture your Mac's screen. And I can tell you this right now, if you ever need tech support, whoever you're dealing with appreciates it. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Please hit that little thumbs up like button if you watch this video on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free and the easiest way to learn more about your Mac. And we'll see you next time. That's all for me, everyone. Class dismissed.